John Durham's investigation into the origins of the Russia probe is now a criminal investigation. The New York Times reporting the news with this subhead, though. Here it is. The move is likely to open the attorney general to accusations that he is trying to deliver a political victory for President Trump. Ed, this yeah. is unbelievable. They yeah. are trying to pin this. John Durham, with impeccable background, mm -hmm. not a political bone in his body, as revenge and not a legitimate investigation yeah. by Durham. And so heads you be, win, tails I lose. Yeah, it might okay. be another example of just kind of letting opinion get ahead of facts. Why not let John Durham uh, actually get the facts and figure out the roots of the Russia probe as you were just debating uh, back and forth with Richard uh, and Matt? The bottom line is Fox has two sources tonight familiar with this investigation confirming that New York Times report that that man, John Durham there, a U.S. attorney from Connecticut, uh, now has opened a criminal investigation. This started as a broad uh, probe. He didn't actually have a grand jury. He didn't have subpoenas, all the rest. Now he does. This is a formal criminal probe, we're told. And so there are going to be a lot of former Obama officials who are going to be under the microscope in terms of their behavior, the FISA warrants, uh, and all the rest you've been talking about tonight, Laura. Uh, well, there are probably people are wondering, watching this, Ed, who is most nervous hmm. tonight, perhaps, given what we know? Well, uh, John Brennan has been, you know, on television a yeah. lot lately and throwing up kind of pixie dust in the air about all of this. This, this is all a big scam. This whole mm -hmm. thing is ridiculous. Casting a bar is just another uh, henchman for Donald Trump. I mean, right. this is this is kind of what's been done. For some time, we have some clues tonight, which is that we've been picking up reports uh, that John Dorham has been wanting to talk to John Brennan, who you mentioned, the former Obama CIA director, but also James Clapper, who, of course, was uh, the head of the director of, of uh, national intelligence, uh, who would have been involved in, in, in some of this. Uh, I'm not saying that we have evidence. Again, we shouldn't let the, uh, no, the, we shouldn't. the opinion, you know, we, we should Nor follow the facts I. and figure it out, you know, it, what happened and let the chips fall uh, where they may. But I'll give you another important piece of information we're picking up tonight. There was a letter uh, sent by Michael Horowitz just in the last few hours up to, to congressional leaders and whatnot, saying that he is closing in on finally getting that inspector general uh, report about FISA abuse. Abuse, uh, out there in the public domain, says that he uh, is going to have it largely, uh, you know, uh, unredacted. We're going to see uh, lots and lots of pages. James Comey's behavior, he's another one who will be under the microscope. But, but uh, officials familiar with the Durham probe are telling me tonight uh, that they're going to use that inspector general report as sort of a roadmap for this criminal probe. Uh, as you know, the inspector general cannot actually prosecute people, can only suggest here's what happened, Here, here's where there may have been wrongdoing, but can't actually prosecute anybody, uh, can recommend prosecution, but can't actually do it. Right. Now John Durham has that subpoena power, has that grand jury, can actually potentially push criminal charges. That's a All big right. deal.